Discourse on the Origin of Inequality, by Jean-Jacques Rousseau is a philosophical treatise that delves into the roots of human inequality, exploring the evolution of society and its impact on individuals. First published in 1755, this work has remained influential in the realms of political philosophy and social theory. Rousseau begins his discourse by examining the natural state of humanity, a pre-social condition where humans existed in a state of primitive simplicity. In this state, individuals were self-sufficient and free from the complexities of modern society. Rousseau argues that this initial state of nature was characterized by a form of equality, both in terms of physical and moral attributes. Unlike later thinkers such as Thomas Hobbes, who believed that the state of nature was inherently chaotic and violent, Rousseau presents a more optimistic view. According to Rousseau, the transition from the natural state to a more complex society marked the genesis of inequality among individuals. He identifies two types of inequality, natural and moral. Natural inequality stems from differences in physical attributes, such as strength and intelligence, which are inherent and cannot be altered significantly. On the other hand, moral inequality arises from the development of society, where individuals begin to acquire property, form relationships, and interact with others. Rousseau contends that the advent of private property was a pivotal moment in the emergence of moral inequality. As individuals started to claim ownership of resources, divisions and hierarchies were established, leading to competition, conflict, and the erosion of the natural equality that once existed. The concept of property introduced a profound change in human behavior and relationships, as people now sought to accumulate and protect their possessions, leading to the rise of greed and selfishness. Furthermore, Rousseau suggests that the formation of civil society, driven by the need for protection and cooperation, further exacerbated moral inequality. While society aimed to secure individuals' rights and create a common framework for living together, it ended up perpetuating social divisions and class distinctions. Rousseau's critique of society's role in nurturing inequality challenges the prevailing views of his time, particularly the idea that civilization inherently improved the human condition. Rousseau also addresses the issue of social contracts, a concept central to his political philosophy. He argues that the formation of a social contract is a response to the growing inequalities in society. Individuals, in realizing the need for collective action to protect their interests, voluntarily enter into a social contract. However, Rousseau insists that these contracts should be based on the general will, which represents the common good and the shared interests of the entire community. Any deviation from the general will results in an unjust and oppressive society. One of Rousseau's most notable contributions in this discourse is his exploration of the concept of amour propre, or self-love. He distinguishes it from amour de soi, which is natural self-love focused on self-preservation. Amour propre, on the other hand, is the desire for recognition and validation from others, which can lead to competition, vanity, and the pursuit of social status. Rousseau identifies amour propre as a driving force behind many societal ills and suggests that it is a major source of moral inequality. Rousseau's ideas in Discourse on the Origin of Inequality lay the groundwork for his later works, particularly The Social Contract, where he further develops his political philosophy and presents his vision of an ideal society based on the general will and the abolition of unnatural inequalities. In conclusion, Jean-Jacques Rousseau's Discourse on the Origin of Inequality offers a thought-provoking analysis of the roots of human inequality and the transformation of society from a state of natural simplicity to one marked by complex social structures and divisions. His exploration of the impact of property, social contracts, 
and the concept of amour propre provides valuable insights into the nature of human society and the quest for a more just and equitable social order. Rousseau's work continues to influence contemporary discussions on politics, ethics, and the pursuit of a fairer society.